makeup here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Jessica, what do you do? Um, so I do a couple of different things. I'm a jack of all trades or Jane, but I work in nonprofit and I also model as well. So. Nice. Okay. Nice. And Not going so for the what thick bro. For in a guy. Ooh, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. Um, he has to be motivated. Um, the guy definitely has to have something going for himself. Mm -hmm. If he fine, that's a plus two. If he got a beard. <laughs> She giving me the vibe of she's crazy, this woman. I don't know why. She's just giving me the vibe. She, she... <laughs> With some of y'all do. Yeah, <laughs> as I said, um, she's really giving me the crazy vibe. <laughs> um, I feel like once you know, you know. Oh, okay. So I think it's a case-by-case -case basis depending on the person. Oh, cool. So we did have uh, some balloons pop. So let's go ahead and go on over them see what's going on there. You well, just want to follow me? <laughs> I'm glad you popped mine. Ah, okay, let's start with our first guy here. So this is crazy. Why you popped your balloon? Bo. Okay, and why did you pop your balloon, Bo? I just, not my type, you know, I will keep it. Uh, I, thought, I thought you was older than 31. I thought, that's what I thought. Okay. So you think she looks a little bit older than her age? Yeah. Okay. Well, how old are you? 30. 30. Oh, I heard you the first time. Yeah. He doesn't look 30 to you. I told you women cannot take rejection. She, no. I told you she gave me the crazy vibe. She's crazy. 17. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> take Thank it. you. I mean, you did say you like beards, as we see. I here. do. Mm. Okay. okay. She's crazy. So I as hope as everyone pops as as her, just pop like a fucking balloon. Rage, that was the only reason he popped? Yeah, that was one. Okay. You said one of them. There was more? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I don't like, I get big girls. Oh. That. Yeah. Hey, it was good for the goose, I was good for the gander, and what you don't like, somebody else will, baby. You're right, you're right. It's not for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go ahead and go right here. I see we also popped. So if we have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. I'm Jivens, and I am 24 years old. And I popped my balloon just because the way you walked up, like, you seemed a little more masculine than I, I would like. Yeah. That's fair. So, yeah. Okay. And now that you're speaking with her, is that still giving off that type of energy? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and what about him? Like, do you, are you feeling this or? Which is very bizarre because you seem very feminine. Mm. So, I guess it's just not <laughs> a match. Yes, yeah, she, she's crazy. She good. <laughs> This woman, I told you from the beginning, when I saw her, she, I told I said directly, she's crazy. She gave me the crazy vibe of a chick that if you cheat on her, she's going to kill you. <laughs> she assaulted him she, because it's, it's, he said that she's masculine. Now she's telling him he's feminine. So she doesn't take rejection at all. And what, what makes him seem feminine? Nothing. He got his taco meat out. Nothing. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of... And you look a lot older than 24, so I probably wouldn't have gone for that anyway. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, to each his own. Mm -hmm. um, if you feel like I'm masculine, baby, that's what you think. This show old guys go for the masculine shit. <laughs> well, you just look a little older than me, so I was like, uh, probably more seasoned. You know, so, but, okay. Yeah. You guys both think either one looks older than their actual age? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we did get a balloon pop over here. Let's head on this way. Okay, and if we could have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. My name is David. I'm 30 years old. And the reason I popped my balloon, uh, no disrespect, but I have certain specific type of women that I like. And, and what is that specific type? Uh, more athletic. Okay. Yeah, because health is very important. Mm. So by, by looking at her, I don't think that she's fit enough for me. You wouldn't know what's so bizarre about that is I actually lost 150 pounds. And Good for you. to add, under this shirt, baby, I got abs. Believe no, it or you not, don't. I do. No, you don't. Nice. No, you don't have abs, but it's good for you. And now, is he somebody that you would approach? No. And why not? Um, Honestly, he comes across as very... A little bit uppity or very too much so like I feel like he needs a certain kind of woman that he feel like he needs to have on his arm like one of those petite trophy mm -hmm. women who maybe don't say too much but I don't know I and then 
His voice is a little softer than what I would. Yeah, I know that she was going for that because he has a soft I mean, voice. To each his own. But it's, the voice has nothing to do with this. Everybody get preference. Is there any facts to what she's saying? Any truth? Actually, it's not. I feel like I deserve. Everybody has the right to choose what they like. Yeah. Uh, especially being in a relationship, you need to be attracted to the person <laughs> that you're gonna be with, and she's just not that person. And we did see over here that you ended up popping your balloon. What's Everyone? your name? How old are you? And why did you pop? Except the short guy. Oh, he I'm 31. And the reason why I popped my balloon is because he I just feel it. like stylistically, we just don't, we wouldn't look together well, that well as a unit. If I that makes not. sense. Nah. Like. Yeah. I feel like, you know, you, you kind of resemble someone that is a part of my family. So I just feel a little bit weird about that. Okay. Yeah. He's trying to be nice. So she reminds you of someone in your family that you know or yeah, like? Yeah, she reminds me of my cousin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So that's the only reason why. Yeah, and then style-wise, I just think that the way that we both dress is just a little bit different. Okay. But she's beautiful. <laughs> and also congratulations on the weight loss as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, and is he someone that's like your type? Yeah, like, she would, would go for this guy. Um... Ooh, I don't know right off the rip if it was somebody I would go for particularly. However, you do have a very nice, sweet, genuine vibe to you. Thank you. That I would be willing to see if the juice is worth the squeeze if the opportunity had presented itself, possibly. Okay. Okay. But thank you for being respectful. And, uh, of course. Ooh, wow. Everybody of them is being respectful to you, you mother. Let's go ahead and head back this way. Oh, well, we did have one over here. So if we can have your name, how old you are, you're call him short. your balloon. I'm 34. My name is Terrence. And uh, when he says she look like my cousin, I was thinking that before that, but she's definitely gorgeous. And I do have a cousin. If you look, you know, y'all look like y'all could be cousins <laughs> or sisters or something. So I'm like, damn, that nigga said the same thing I was thinking. It's shit. So I was like, but she is gorgeous, though. So, you know, I like you. I like and, and, and like you said, congratulations. Keep keep it up. And Copy. Bust. You're a strong black woman, I can tell. Love that. <laughs> Why aren't you sweet? Thank you. You sweet too. Okay. So you're just out here looking like everybody's cousin or something. <laughs> okay. It well, might be the hairstyle, though, too, because that's like the hairstyle uh, that she wear, too. So oh, I like somebody auntie. No, no, no. It's a cousin. <laughs> it's my cousin. It's pretty. It's just like. She looks like an auntie. Style. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anita Baker! Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nah, I ain't say that. <laughs> well, you know, I do got sweet love, baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. And now, is Terrence somebody that is your type? Um, no. Nobody is sweet. Okay. And what makes him not your type? Um, Mama always say it. Um, can we skip this question? No. <laughs> I'll keep it. I'll keep it a buck, which I'm not necessarily the most attracted to him. Okay. Um, I think I agree with him. I think your partner should be somebody that you are attracted to. Mm. Attraction is a piece of the pie. It's not the whole piece, right. but yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and head back over here. So, if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. Hello. My name is Renard. I'm 27. And I held on to my balloon when I saw you because you're beautiful. And I actually, I disagree. I think you do look fit. And I could tell just by the, the way the body is, yeah, we like that, you know? <laughs> but it was, for me, it was the kind of that sarcasm and your facial expressions was real strong. And I was like, I can't do it. And then lastly, I don't know, I just wasn't getting positive energy from it. So, you know, I was like, I might have to light some Palo Santo around you just to bring some positive energy, you know, around you and everything. But, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. <laughs> Anything you have to say in regards to that? Um, you know what? Perception is reality. Mm -hmm. I don't think you really know me, but I can mm -hmm. understand off of optics. We all have our own point of view and our perspectives. Um, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I am very sarcastic. Mm -hmm. I like to be funny. I like to joke. So it can be off-putting to a few folks. Mm -hmm. And that's your preference. That's cool. Okay. And is he your type? Is he someone that you would approach? No. <laughs> and why not? Um, aesthetically, he has very beautiful eyes. Thank you. Um, 
if I could be honest, she have no not necessarily my type physically, mm -hmm. and then it does come across a little bit feminine as well. I love very masculine mm -hmm. um, men because I like to be feminine and soft. Um, but <laughs> honestly, it's, I wouldn't necessarily go for him. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Okay. And sir, if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. Yes, my name is Elam, and I'm 38 years old. I popped my balloon not because you're not gorgeous, not because some men can't hold space for your emotions, mm -hmm. but for me, it was the weight loss. And while we are all proud of you for losing the weight, I am considering the risk long term you may have health problems down the line that we may have to work with. And the habits that you've developed over time are gonna be challenging to upkeep in your 40s and 50s. What the fuck is he always so saying, this guy? For me, I'm concerned about- This guy is concerned time. about 16 years oh, later. <laughs> okay. okay, and any response to that? <clears throat> um, because believe it or not, I am a health nut. Um, I am vegan-ish. I don't eat beef, pork, chicken, or dairy. Mm, um, because I am a health nut, I go get tested for everything. I have no high cholesterol, no high blood pressure, um, no diabetes, no nothing. I'm completely healthy. Um, my blood pressure is A1. I work out five or six times a week. I strength train as well. Um, I eat very clean. This guy just I'm saying just dumb in shit. a thicker body, very physically fit outside the clothes. Um, but to each his own, if you're worried about health things, just because somebody's in a smaller frame doesn't make them healthier than me. And to be honest, with you, I'm a little thick, but I can, I can run with the big boys or the big girls. I get down in the gym, baby, I do it all. So I understand perception is reality and that's what you get from optics. But I'm trying to tell you, I'm, you kind of fine. So y'all got an air pump because we might need to <laughs> She's trying to pop your balloon back. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I got, yeah, I got okay. a four pack. So, I can show you back. Tell yeah, me, tell, know I'm fit now. Tell me your name again. It's Jessica. Jessica. So I do run a nonprofit. Maybe there's an opportunity for us to work together. What kind of work is we gonna be doing? <laughs> Helping to save the world. I hope. <laughs> Isn't that what your nonprofit is about? Oh, you trying to help save the world? Well, I'm trying to do what I love to do and help people in that arena. So Sweet. I like to pull teeth. Yeah. So I travel right. around the world and I pull teeth. What is your nonprofit about? Uh, mental health. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, more, please. <laughs> 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 Explain. Well, one, I thought we was trying to repopulate the earth, but you know. Oh. Um, two, um, to answer your question, so I am staff facing. Um, I am a diversity, equity, and inclusion expert. So I deal with policies, a lot of different things behind the scenes to make sure that our organization is staying um, equitable. Um, however, please, please, the nonprofit you're talking too much. Focus, but I do deal with our staff. nonprofit is about. Oh, you, you talk too much. Security. Um, do you plan on having kids in the future? Yes, I do, and that's why I'm trying to get this body right and tight because after I pop these kids out, I'm trying to snap right back. And then, um, yeah, I don't, pl I don't plan to gain the 150 pounds that I lost. Have you thought about the ramifications of the weight that you would gain by having children? Yes, I have. It's something I think about as I am approaching the age of my childbearing years. Um, that's something I've taken into consideration, which is why I'm in the gym five to six days out the week. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck to you. Thank you, likewise. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and we do have our last guy here. If we could have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Oh, yeah, my name is Anthony, and I'm 28. Mm -hmm. And I popped my balloon because kind of what bro said, like, she reminded me of my cousin back home. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, Bruh. I know that kind of. I, They're I know trying to find good excuses. It's, it's back and forth. It's beautiful, but it's not, you know, I couldn't keep a romantic thing going with it. Dang, I need to, can y'all please pull up these pictures of y'all family members? <laughs> because I need to see. I, maybe I should have put me a little wig on. Where you from? I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland? Okay. All right, man. I mean, I don't know. I'm from Florida, but still. Well, it's hold on. Let me go back out and come. Somebody got a wig in the back. 
<laughs> but no, she look good. She look good though. I like I like her. She look good. I mean, Can I definitely. get one of your locks real quick? <laughs> Put one in the back, one in the front. <laughs> All right, Jessica. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Unfortunately, everybody did pop their balloon, so we That's couldn't okay. find you love today. But maybe next time. You sure you don't want to pull your <laughs> I think it might be an air oh, pump in the back. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you so much. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hey, welcome in. Boom. If we can have your name. I don't like it. Hello, I don't like my skinny. Calda. Calda, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. 31. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a model. All right, yes. nice, nice. Yes. And what do you look for in a guy? Um, tall, and doesn't matter, dark, white, black. Okay. I like all types of guys. Nice. Oh, what yeah. the so fuck? He just pop up his bottom because she's I like white. I don't. Hello, my name's Calda. Calda, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. 31. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a model. All right. 